Welcome to Star Citizen and the guide for the Grey Cat Rock. Not only for beginners, the Rock offers a solid and secure source of income, but also for veterans, it is a good idea to pack a rock and earn some extra UEC. But we also show you how you can get started as an absolute beginner with only 5000 Alpha UEC starting capital and this buy not only the rock but also suitable transport chips and more in a short time. You can either buy the rock for just under 170,000 Alpha UEC on level at New Deal in the game or rent it as a beginner for individual days as this only costs you just under 4000 Alpha UEC per day. To do this, you simply visit a refinery deck on one of these stations and can then spawn the rock directly at an outpost, so you don't need anything else at first. At the various outposts, you will find blue vehicle pads and, connected to them with a the blue antenna, the vehicle terminal where you can deliver and spawn the rock directly. You will also find the sales terminal with an orange antenna, so that you can later turn your collected gems into money. After delivery, the rock appears directly on the vehicle pad in just a few seconds. And you can take a seat right away. However, you should wear a spacesuit, as the cabin of the rock is open and you are exposed to the weather. And since we start without a suitable transport ship, we use the rock's built-in scanner with the tab key to find raw materials. And here we are interested in hits up to 3 kilometers away, which we then approach by controlling the rock with the WASD keys. And here's a tip, the rock can withstand a lot and even jumps over huge cliffs and more without any problems. However, you should not extend the mining arm, but more on that in a moment. You should also keep an eye on the direction from which you set off, so that you can find your way back later. With further scans using the tab key, we reach our destination, whereby the scanner hits first change to white and then blue gemstone symbols. Now we can start mining mode by pressing the M button and then pointing the mining arm at an occurrence with the mouse, which starts a detailed scan and gives us all the info on the material. In the left hut, we also have a distance indicator, which we keep in the green area by moving the rock. We can then start a mining laser by pressing the left mouse button and by holding down the left alt key and using the mouse wheel we can vary the energy in order to reach the loading level of the stone. Here we stay below the red area in any case, otherwise damage or up to our destruction is possible. Once the stone has been cracked, it shatters into small gems that we can collect by clicking the right mouse button and restarting the laser with the purple beam and the left mouse button. You can also tell by the color of the stone whether it has absorbed enough energy until it ends this energy by bursting and releasing the valuable materials. Your rock has a loading capacity of 0.8 SCU, which corresponds to countless occurrences, whereby we first try to mine as effectively as possible without a transport ship and sell it promptly, so that we can borrow and buy a transport ship, which then significantly increases the yield. Therefore, after mining and collecting all the raw materials in the vicinity, we first make our way back to where we spawned our rock. Because there is also a sales terminal where we can turn our material directly into money. And so, after a short time, we have earned enough money to buy the rock permanently or to buy a transport ship for it. And you don't have to be too careful here either, as the rock is almost indestructible, even when loaded. You should, however, be careful when taking fire or ramming other vehicles. And another tip, your rock's cargo is accessible to anyone from the back of the rock. So, to sell it, first move your cargo to the safe location station inventory, which automatically appears when you are in range. Congratulations! You've made it and are a certified rocker! At the terminal we can then sell the stones from our local inventory or directly from the rock. Once you've saved up enough, we recommend upgrading to a ship that can transport the rock as this will increase your range and allow you to mine faster and drastically increasing your profit. We recommend the cheapest ship, the Nomad, for just under a million UEC, or the Cuddles Black or a Freelancer, all of which you can buy directly in the game. These ships also offer far more features than just the ability to transport a rock. So check our other guides here in the channel. So we start with our ship and the rock and use the tab key again to search for materials with the ship scanner. 
And again, we are only interested in hits within 3 km range, as targets further away are usually materials for mining ships. And another tip. Open your cargo hold from your cockpit or drive down the lift with your rock already, as this way you can see if you can unload the rock when you land and, above all, load it again after you have done your work. Otherwise you could be stranded in the middle of nowhere and not be able to get back into your ship. Afterwards, you can mine the deposits as usual, whereby we recommend that you look for hedonite sources if possible, as these have a considerably higher sales value than other materials and are thus to be prepared in any case. And after the work is done, we fly to another outpost and can sell our material again. And another tip for veterans, you can also mine directly from a ship with a rock if the pilot deactivates the shields and can keep you quite in front of it, so you can save a lot of time again and are not defenseless in your rock should you be attacked. But where we can find the highest density of valuable materials? For this we recommend SC Tray Tools, where you can click on mining and select ground vehicles to get an index of which moon and which planet have the highest density of valuable materials. On SC Tray Tools you will not only find information on ground mining with vehicles, but also on ship mining, hand mining, the complete trade mechanics and the entire salvaging area. So a all-in-one solution. And finally, a note on the ROCK DS, a two-seater and larger variant that is also available. This is hardly worthwhile at present, since on the one hand much larger ships are needed for transport and the mineable materials remain the same. It is more advisable for two players to use two single rocks, 